Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 24. And it came to pass when Shaul was returned from following the Peleshitim that it was told him, saying, Behold, David is in the wilderness of Ain Gadi. Then Shaul took three thousand chosen men out of all Yashara'el and went to seek Eth David and his men upon the rocks of the wild goats. And he came to the sheep coats by the way, where was a cave. And Shaul went in to cover Eth his feet, and David and his men remained in the sides of the cave. And the men of David said unto him, Behold, the day of which Yahuwah said unto you, Behold, I will deliver Eth your enemy into your hand, that you may do to him as it shall seem good unto you. Then David arose and cut off Eth the skirt of Shaul's robe privily. And it came to pass afterward that David's heart smote him because he had cut off Eth Shaul's skirt. And he said unto his men, Yahuwah forbid that I should do Eth this thing unto my master. Yahuwah's anointed to stretch forth my hand against him, seeing he is the anointed of Yahuwah. So David stayed at his servants with these words, and suffered them not to rise against El Shaul. But Shaul rose up out of the cave and went on his way. David also arose afterward and went out of the cave and cried after Shaul, saying, My lord, the king! And when Shaul looked behind him, David stooped with his face to the earth and bowed himself. And David said to Shaul, Wherefore hear you eth men's words, saying, Behold, David seeks your hurt. Behold, this day your eyes have seen eth how that Yahuwah had delivered you into my hand in the cave, and some bade me kill you, but my eyes spared you, and I said, I will not put forth my hand against my Lord. For he is Yahuwah's anointed. Moreover, my father, see, yea, see eth the skirt of your robe in my hand. For in that I cut off eth the skirt of your robe, and killed you not. Know you and see that there is neither evil nor transgression in my hand, and I have not sinned against you. Yet you hunt eth my soul to take it. Yahuwah judge between me and you, and Yahuwah avenge me of you. But my hand shall not be upon you. As says the proverb of the ancients, wickedness proceeds from the wicked, but my hand shall not be upon you. After whom is the king of Yashara'el come out? After whom do you pursue? After a dead dog? After a flea? Yahuwah, therefore be judge, and judge between me and you, and see, and plead eth my cause, and deliver me out of your hand. And it came to pass, when David had made an end of speaking eth these words unto El Shaul, that Shaul said, Is this your voice? my son David. And Shaul lifted up his voice and wept. And he said to El David, You are more righteous than I, for you have rewarded me good, whereas I have rewarded you evil. And eth you have showed this day, eth, how that you have dealt well with me, for as much as when Yahuwah had delivered eth Rather, delivered me eth into your hand, you killed me not. For if a man findeth his enemy, will he let him go well away? Wherefore, Yahuwah, reward you good for that you have done unto me this day. 
And now, behold, I know well that you shall surely be king, and that the kingdom of Yashadael shall be established in your hand. Swear now, therefore, unto me by Yahuwah, that you will not cut off eth my seed after me, and that you will not destroy eth my name out of my father's house. And David swore unto Shaul, and Shaul went home. But David and his men got them up unto the hold.